Okay, never mind. Hello, welcome to another episode of Dark Souls. This, unfortunately, is a half battle because of the fact XSplit decided to be a complete and utter douche and cut out half of what I had originally recorded. So, to explain, right now I'm sitting in a safe zone, hence why I'm not moving. Over where he just struck was a huge orb that you can go and see sitting on the opposite side. Every single time I strike one of those orbs, that gigant uh, one of those gigantic lava sides will come out of the, out of the, its head. This is basically one of the you know, lords, lo uh, one of the people who have the lord soul. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but it's the bed of chaos. So this is a puzzle boss. Simply put, quote unquote. All I have to do is just kill the orbs, make sure I go down the center, jump at the right time, and then hit the core, which is basically an insta-kill. So, and I might want to go and switch to my shield if he's going to go and be pulling the swipes. Alright, here we go. Ah, I should have waited until after he did that. Actually... Roll back here. Heal. Oh, really? X split. There we go. I keep forgetting how much he, you would go and make this place fall apart. strike to cause the other scythe to go and pop out. Eh, I might go and no, upload what uh, XSplit went and cut out as, like, Dark Souls bloopers for this fight. Because I did kind of mess up a little. But then you'd be hearing the intro over, so that might be a little redundant. Yeah, now he's got two of those sides. Just fine. They're already annoying as all heck before. And then again, I can't say diddly since mo um, my normal uh, style is dual wielding. What the? That was random. Alright, here we go again. Like I was trying to go and explain in the other uh, video. This is the only boss so far that saves where you were in the boss fight, which is kind of useful, but also kind of annoying at the same time, because then you deal with the same intensity that he was at when you died. 
Like that. And I'm willing to bet my souls are way over there. Because I've not seen anything over there. Souls just oh no no they didn't up and disappear good I would have been really ticked because that's a lot of humanity a lot of humanity and a lot of defense Oh, wow. I forgot about that move. Exceedingly annoying. Side of the oh, I forgot they extend a bit. Now that he's done that, oh, of course. Back up, back up, otherwise I'm going to be stuck in the swipe motion, which I really hate. Knew it! I called it! I called it! Here we go again. Hopefully this time I don't get killed for some stupid reason. I just realized I have a crud load of the rings of the sacrifice. I should probably just start using those for the for these more. Ah. Lasted through that one to swipe up them. I had to open my mouth. Might as well have been open mouth, insert foot. Oh, come on. I was so close on that one. Eh. To heck with it. I'll jump.
Oh wow, I forgot about that. And he might actually go and try using that while I'm in here. And what I mean by that is a huge, just screw you fire attack that just... <sighs> just destroys you. But we're almost to the core now, so this should be over relatively quickly. Like I said, this... whoops. Ah, dang it. This little thing that I just landed right near is the core. As soon as I strike this thing, this whole thing dies. As sad as that is. And annoying as that is, because go through the whole song and dance just to get a Lord Soul for that. You see my point? The only useful thing is a bonfire shows up. <sighs> well, this was another episode of Dark Souls Boss Battles. Sorry that it cut out because of XSplit being a pain, but... Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.